Hi, I'm Andrew McDonald, executive producer and the creative director on Survivor Man VR. So my experience as a game developer is, is I'm new. This is really the second thing that I've, I've worked on. My background is, is shooting. I've been shooting shows like Survivor Man um, and travel television and Discovery History, Nat Geo, that kind of adventure television. So I have an experience of making this kind of content in the traditional form for TV. Um, but this is, this is an interesting project for me because it's, it's game, but it's about this sort of similar subject. So it's, it, you can apply a few of the things across the board. It's nice to work with people who have experience with, with game as well though. Les is like your Obi-Wan Kenobi, your, your spirit guide. Hi, I'm Les Stroud. We've been struggling with trying to you know, define who he is in the game. It's, it's really, it's putting yourself in one of his shows. Like, you're in one of these scenarios where Les would you know, be dropped off on a remote location and film himself surviving for seven days with literally nothing but some odd things. The cool thing about having Les in there though is he's, he's a celebrity. He's the creator of the survival television genre. It was early 2000s when he came out with his show Survivor Man and he did it all himself unlike some of the follow, follow along knockoff shows that, that came out. And he, so he's got some street cred and one of these things with VR is you know, a lot of these indie studios, is because there's no main studios, not very many big studios doing games for VR because the market base is still so small. So there's not really, my, marketing a VR game is just you're another indie studio with another game. Like what's big, what's the big deal about it? So at least with Les, we're kind of trying to leverage a little bit of the celebrity aspect of Les Stroud and his experience in this, in this world. So when the, the, the Great Plague started in March, um, we were, we were kind of in a fortunate position because we had just picked up a bunch of Dell Precision Towers with the NVIDIA RTX 8000 graphics cards. I was basically just able to call the developers and tell them to come to the office and grab their machines and go home and set up. And within a week, we were all up and running again on uh, over Zoom. So we didn't really miss a beat. Having a bunch of machines that were all similar was also very advantageous too because now you know, there's a level of consistency. At least there's something that's a constant. So that was, that was comforting. 